The hook I'm using is a fire hole sticks number 811 in size 6, but you can use any long shank and preferably wide gap streamer hook like this Gamagatsu B10S or Arex NS122 hook. Whichever hook you use though, place it in your vise securely. Now, for thread, I like using a heavy thread like this Vivis 140 power thread. Start your thread behind the hook eye. Then build a bit of a thread base and place the dumbbell eyes on. For dumbbells, you really want lead, something heavy to keep this hook point riding up. And this is the medium size, but you can probably get away with the small size. Place your dumbbell right in the center of the thread base and tie it in with some X wraps and under wraps to lock it in tight. Then I like to paint a bit of UV resin on the eyes and cure it. And this will help the eyes from spinning after hard strikes. Now bring your thread back to the bend of the hook. We will want two rubber legs. I had some of these in my tying box and I figured they work great, but use any rubber legs that you've got. Attach one of the legs in the back side of your hook and make sure they're angling upward towards the hook point. Then turn your hook around and attach the other leg on the other side of the hook in the same manner, angling up towards the hook point. Once attached, then tie over the butt ends of the legs. And don't worry too much about bulk here. Now we need a rabbit zonker strip. Cut a short piece about this long. Then another piece about the same length. We also need a slightly longer piece. You really could tie these in a wide range of colors, but I do like this crayfish orange color for this. Take one of the shorter pieces you cut and strip off some of the hair at the back end of it. And do the same thing with the other piece as well. Then wet your fingers and stroke the hair back and out of the way. Now tie just the hide onto your hook angling up towards the hook point, and also on the side of the hook, like you did with the legs. Turn your hook around and tie in the other small piece on the other side of the hook, angling towards the hook point as well. Now match some chenille to your rabbit strip color, and I really like this variegated chenille for this. Clip a generous piece off your card if you plan on tying a few of these. With a pinch wrap, and then some tight wraps, attach the chenille to your hook shank, right in front of the rabbit strips. Then bring your thread to just behind the dumbbell eyes. Now make touching wraps up the hook shank with your chenille until you reach your thread. And then capture the chenille with a few tight wraps and trim off the waist. Now take the longer piece of rabbit zonker you cut earlier, and place it on top of your hook shank, right behind the hook eye. Make a few tight wraps and tie it down. Then I like to make X wraps over the eyes and zonker to really make sure the zonker won't pull out. After those X wraps, then just build a head behind the eye of the hook and whip finish your fly. Now we need to clip the top zonker to just shy of the hook point so it won't interfere with hook set. Then for added security, I like painting a bit more of the UV resin on the head of the fly and over the X-wraps, then cure it. And that's it, a really quick and simple crayfish pattern. The two smaller pieces of zonker look like claws, and the top zonker mimics the head and body of the crayfish. Now this fly is done, but you could use a sharpie to color the hide if you want, up to you. This is a brown sharpie which comes out dark, and that's okay. But use whatever color you want if you choose to color the hide of the fly. When this fly sinks to the bottom, the claws angle upward and start to slowly splay outward, kind of like a crayfish in defense mode. The fly also looks good jigged and even slowly stripped. However, where I think this fly really shines is when it's simply sitting on the bottom. Bass will sit there and stare at a crayfish for a few seconds before striking, and the subtle movement of those legs and the rubber antenna, I find, generate more strikes from wary bass. A 
simple pause for a few seconds and then a strip will be the best way to fish this fly. No matter what you do though, when it hits the bottom, the back end of this fly will raise up and look like a defensive crawdad. I'm now selling branded shirts, sweatshirts, stickers, and cell phone cases. So check them out, link is in the description section. I also wanted to remind you that all the materials used today are in the description section of this video, but you might have to click the show more button to expand the section to view. I also have included links to where you can purchase them online. Also included a discount code for the fly artist as well, as a special thank you for being my subscriber. So please use that as you won't be able to find deals this good anywhere else. Well thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe and share with all your fish loving friends. Also do me a favor and hit that like button. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.